and dad and telling him to get over it. You'll be all right. It's all New York. You'll be all right. All right. You got it, Wolf. But we're fighting a different type of animal. It's Incineroar versus Falco. Oh, my God. And we have we had the cat versus the bird. He's going to die a lot. This is like Looney Tunes all over again. It's like Sylvester versus what, Tweety? Yeah, Tweety, Tweety was yes, Tweety. Tweety, was the Tweety Bird is in fact with the bird. But is it the word though? I don't know about that. Can't confirm. Okay, all right. As we're just trying to <laughs> let's get right back into the match. As both players are trying to find their footing right now, Smash will be. In a, it's an interesting stage because because it's not how it was before. You have that obstacle of the platform to just kind of close space off and kind of make it brawly. I think that you know Vivi. Vivi may like this for Incineroar right now. That was scary. <laughs> he likes the fact that he doesn't have to worry about too much space to contest with Tilde. And I feel like Tilde's approaching this matchup beautifully. We're seeing he's hanging back, let the lasers do a lot of the work for him, and then just pop Incineroar in the head whenever he gets too close. A lot of people love to focus on how strong of a combo game and how big of a reversal Falco can turn once he's in control. But people tend to forget this character can camp, and when he can camp, he can camp really well. Yeah, and then he definitely has the tools to do so. Great was. Does he have the Sakurai combo now? <laughs> that was beautiful. But unfortunately, not seeing the stock, but you know, putting him in a good position, Vivi's gotta be. Oh my god. Vivi's got it. That's it. That That's what I'm telling you about Incineroar. It doesn't matter if the character loses on paper. Paper doesn't matter if you just eat thick that arm. That is some roasted bird right there. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Why did that back here sound so mean? Oh, great tech chase. Actually, doing with the dark, doing the darkest lariat. Okay, BB kind of. That was actually a great option. Letting him come back to stage just a bit, just to try and uh, darkest lariat. Well, the Alolan Whip covers so much space on stage. That, like, as long as Vivi doesn't trade, it's co it's covering at least half of Smashville. You know I've been calling that the darkest light the whole time? And you haven't corrected me once, Eggman. That's we don't see Incineroar a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the deal on the whip? Okay, Yeah, cool. neutral B is the uh, All right, the sorry, Incin mains. Love you guys. You guys are hype. All right. I think that was a misinput. Oh, well, forward tilt definitely would have, like... I, that actually could have killed Tildy. Because... Forward tilt, hella strong. Shows down air. And this is this, this is the kind this is the kind of lead that Vivi wants to run away with. Twenty six percent, and you have to find out how to see. You know, you have to kind of just see the stock immediately. Fifty. She just went to fifty one percent. Yeah, man. Character hits hard. People love to sleep on Incineroar because he just seems like such a bad character. None of his moves have particularly great frame data. He has a fairly gimmicky play style. His recovery is very linear. But, like, when you're hitting for that much damage with a command grab, and you have multiple options to kill with it, because keep in mind, Vivi could be killing off the side, which we've already seen, or if given a proper setup or the situation at hand, we could even see a kill off the top. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. He's going to kill off the side, though. My dude clothesline him. Yeah. Like, that's his neck. He's gone. That's his neck. I love this man. This character is so high. He's one of my favorite new additions to Smash. He's just so flashy. I'm but just so glad he's in. He <laughs> serves a really good role in the game. Like, he's a super traditional grappler. He's a Pokemon Ganon. <laughs> now, I'm surprised we're not seeing the switch to Fox. Um, Tilde has, you know, Falco has has kill power. And it seems like Tilde is opting for a more uh, spacious stage right here. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting more lasers. Um, yeah, I would like a lot more of the passive play from Tilde, but I feel like a lot of the issue is, like, he's responding to a lot of Vivi's pressure with shield. And hey, yeah. the biggest problem here is the darkest is the uh, Alola Whip. Now you've got me doing it. I'm so, 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 you have to correct me. <laughs> the Alola Whip is a grab. It's not like a silly grab like okay. Isabel's Fishing Rod or Joker's Grappling Hook. It's a real ass grab that grabs out a shield. And that's the scary part. Oh, unfortunately, getting a misinput. I'm pretty sure that was a misinput because he, he may have tried to pressure him with the downer, and that would have put it. Uh, 
Vivi, sorry, names. Um, <laughs> that would have put Vivi in a perilous situation right now. But I love how he's using these wall jumps to kind of mix up his recovery. Oh my god. Tossed! Yeah, at this high of a percentage, it's not really going to be setting up for anything super good. Kind of upset that Vivi didn't go out there to try an edge guard. A down air would have managed to get him down. Yeah. Uh, neutral air could have stuffed him out to extend the play, which, mind you, a bit dangerous against Falco, but something Vivi could have done. I feel like this is just another aspect of Incineroar that Vivi just needs to get more comfortable with, as well as utilizing a low and whip for recovery, because it's like a much worse version of Falco Phantasm in that it's putting you in that linear space for a long time. Tildy was already in position to punish that, but because this is Incineroar we're talking about, we're back to square one. Down, down throw to up smash. Wow. And the thing is that I want to point, and I want to point out that. Tilde took the stock because he went out there and pressured Vivi. And that's what he has to do a lot more. You know, I, in Cinema's recovery, like you, like, you, like you pointed out before, very, very linear. You know how he's going to recover depending on the on his position, right? So you, your Falco has a great offstage game. So you want to pressure Incineroar into playing your game. But Vivi is just not going to give him that chance as he just pays back with the back air and takes the stock and oh my god beautiful back air what did he do? Oh. Okay. that could have been super dangerous oh actually th that was a great option by tilde under actually baiting out the counter just to another grab to back air it's up tilt to back air yeah revenge is Really useful in this matchup, but I like that Vivi's not going for it a lot because I feel like Tilly's style of Falco, he'll let Vivi get like that little bit of a boost from Revenge, but then punish him super hard for it. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. Especially since Vivi's been in control of this. As a reminder, this is game two. And Vivi took game one pretty convincingly. And we just saw that we, we just saw exactly what you said. That once Vivi starts kind of like, you know. Uh, maybe spamming that uh, that alone whip. He he gets bodied by Tilde. Tilde just, just walking back slowly to actually punish him for that. Ooh. Great darkest Larry coverage. Not getting these two frames from uh, from the down tilt, but this is where he has to go out. Great option, and this is where he needs to kill him. There you go. Where are you taking it to game three? You have to capitalize on those situations or else you're essentially giving Incineroar a free recovery. And his recovery is ass. It is. It goes the distance, but it's it's not that safe. Now, game I was actually surprised though. Cuz he did the full the full recovery. He did the full cross chop. Yes. And <laughs> till they fared. Yeah, I thought he was, he was, he was dead. He was I thought he was dude. dead. I'm like, oh, oh my god. He, but he was ballsy. He was ballsy and I like that. Just trying to stay alive out here, man. All right, going to town and city. I love this stage right now. It's probably my favorite stage. A lot of people in New York say that. Some things just don't change. But for Incineroar, it makes all the sense in the world. A lot of space for him to stick around. He can navigate the platform as well. It's a bit more of an abstract space for Falco to try and zone out. But more importantly, I feel like it's going to give Vivi a lot more variety for returning to the stage. And that's what he really needs help with right now. Because mm -hmm. he's not having any trouble killing Tildy. Quite the opposite, in fact. I think the fact that he has like a little bit more space is just going to benefit him so much more. But when it comes to getting his own paws back on the ground, like that's where some assistance is needed. Yeah, and we see Tilde actually just playing this, playing this game superbly. And getting the immediate combo on, on uh, blah, blah, the names, Vivi, <laughs> on Vivi, and you know, one forty-eight percent. This is this is amazing. All Tilde has to do is just play his game right now and let Vivi come to him, and then he, you know, just seal the stock up with the up tilt to back air. That's still a thing at this percentage. No, I don't think it's. Still. You know, one sixty-four. I'm pretty sure, like, Tilde can just read an option with back air, and that should catch. Even forwarder, I think, is going to be uh, managed to kill. But now this is a scary situation. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a scary situation because now you don't want to get the loaded whipped. Oh, up throw, not going to kill just yet. Falco has a kill throw, right? Like, I mean, after that's, a certain that's point, super high percents, but no, after a certain point, you get you can dodge the. Uh, don't the die. Definitely a little bad. <laughs> I 
All right, and this is this is actually super super scary. All right, well there. Yeah, like I said, like forward air should be able to just do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, at nearly 200 percent, I would hope that a good amount of aerials or just normals in general for Falco's kick gets set up for the kill. I'm yeah. sure Dowtel would be able to do it too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know Dowtel did lose some kill power from Smash Four because Smash Four that thing definitely killed. But uh, it's it's still it's still a, va a somewhat valuable kill option. Great combo starter with the up tilts. Here we go with the upper juggles. Great fit. Uh, Nair. Ooh. I like the Nair. Yeah, Cute it was, option. Yeah, because then he would have just followed up with the laser because it would have pushed him forward. Oh, 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 oh Tildy. Tildy, be careful. Yo, Vivi's going to figure out this down tilt's not working. He's going to go off stage and start edge guarding like, actively because Incinera can do that against the Spaces. And yeah, this match is going to get turned tougher. right on its head. Mm hmm. The only thing that he does have to worry about is that is Falco's uh, Phantasm because it does still spike you. So, ooh! Yeah, I think the spike is the least of uh, Vivi's worries when it comes to Tildy's Falco. Uh, unfortunately, getting hit after using his jump, Vivi was put into that situation. Nothing much he could have done. Um, I think he could have just still up B just for the fact that the platform may have saved him. But Tildy having a commanding lead. That was a great drag down. It's a good drag down, but because there's nothing true after that, like... Everything's a mix-up, yeah. Everything's a mix-up, and Vivi didn't care for it. He just wanted to get his revenge. And he's gotten the, the boost beaten out of him already. But this is still, like, a decent position for Vivi to take some of the set back. My man broke his back. Yeah, man. Still got a lot of work to do in this game three. Because right now, Tilly's taking is, all this work. This is... Oh, oh, that was fantastic. Ugh. This is a three out of five, correct? Yep. All right, cool, cool. Top eight is all best of five. No one has work to go to tomorrow, I think. Probably. <laughs> I know I have work tomorrow. That's besides the point. It's best of five. So Vivi does have one more shot to try and take this back. He started things out well, but I feel like Tilly's figured out the matchup. And that's exactly what I love the switch. Yeah. I, 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 knew, I knew that was going to come. <sighs> now it's just a matter to see if it came too little too late. One, yeah, but you know, when, when you're down, when you're down, when you're back against the, when you're back against the wall, you know, that's when you're, that's when your true main comes out, you know? You just got to put on a new coat of fur and all of a sudden the matchup looks completely different. <laughs> It's like he shed his seasonal fur. <laughs> He's in springtime now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but now keep in mind that this is, you know, VV has had, what, three matches now to learn how this Falco can play, you know? This is a whole new thing for Tilde. He has to, he has to, he is no longer playing a character that can grab you at like 65 and kill you depending on range. Like, no, this, this character, is completely different, moves different, and he just has to play as a completely different matchup, to be honest. Great See, double team. While I agree with that sentiment, I feel like this is also going to be a bit of work for Vivi as well, because now that it's not Incineroar, Tilly doesn't have to play as passively. He doesn't have to focus so much on zoning. Yeah. So we get to see more of his combo game. We get to see more of Falco's reversal options that the character's really well known for. But this is Lucario, so it is a different type of play in that you have to make sure you end your stocks when you get the damage on, and that's exactly what Tildy has done. Yeah, that was actually a great parry. Keep in mind that when you parry, you don't really have that much time to punish, so you actually have to know what your opponent, where your opponent's going, so you can actually position yourself to do that. And he knew he just wanted to up tilt to back air confirm, and he, he got it. And now we're, you know, not, now, now we're even. Great! Oh my god, oh, ooh. You're right, you're right. I, I do see Tilty playing a, a little bit more offensively, and I like this because I'm seeing some combos that I'm like, that I'm like, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, there's a reason this guy has been managing the top eight team. There's a reason he's a threat. Like, he knows what he's doing with the character, and being able to switch up his play style from, like, matchup to matchup in the same set is such a great show of skill for the player. But that's, that's what separates the, you know, the high-level players from the mid-level players and the top-level players, you know? Like, they, they, ha they all have that ability. All right, take this is, is confirmed, but all right. Still manages the, the sour hit of Force Pump. Ooh. This is when he gets scary. 
Aura Sphere not going to do it just yet. Not quite big enough to hit under the ledge, but eh, soon. <laughs> All right, the back is definitely good. That's still a threat. That move big. That move is meaty. Oh, I like that. Actually, just baiting out a, a reaction, charging that Aura Sphere. Ooh, the cancel. All right, well. All right, so this is this is tournament life for Vivi right here. He's got to make the most of this if he wants to at least bring us to game five. Oh, unfor I think he <laughs> unfortunately double jumped that one. I actually kind of like that, going for more of the uh, the passive approach to the uh, the situation. Because Vivi knows that he can't really afford any like stray hits to go awry. And if he doesn't get a good follow-up from any hit that he gets, then Tildy can make a combo out of it. And Vivi can't afford that right now. He's got the even percentages. And Vivi knows that for every one hit he's going to get, Tildy's going to get like three or four. So he's going to make that one hit count. And Lucario's really good at that. Just like that. Speaking of being five. really good at making that hit count, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, Vivi, he knew that he couldn't really fool around with that in that situation. And I'm hoping he takes a lot of that mindset into game five. Regardless of the setting, I feel like a lot of this is going to be Lucario will lose the trade somehow. So he's got to hit heavy when he does hit. Yeah, he has to take advantage of, you know, the fact that his character gets stronger as he's losing. And he he essentially gets those you know gets those power ups and are we going to see an Incineroar again? Or yep, we're going straight back to the Lucario. Oh, I saw I saw Rosalina and Luma. I'm like, what? I love Rosalina in this game. I'd be amazed to see it, but uh, I'm definitely not expecting no Rosalina to pop after game five. <laughs> I'm these boys are trying to stay alive in top eight tonight. But I am surprised that uh, Tilde actually hasn't switched off of Falco to Fox at all. He's just sticking tri to his tried and true main in this game, and not and just making s making these adjustments, man. I feel like it's the matter of like Fox has a decent combo game in his own right. Like we're not gonna sit here and sleep on Fox because he hasn't been here this whole set. But I think Falco's tools are more suited to fighting Vivi as a player. And we've seen that from how well Falco is able to to zone out Incineroar and how well he's able to react to Lucario. With Fox, he just sort of has to take momentum and snowball it hard. And when he doesn't get a chance to do that, he's just got to roll it back up again. Falco is kind of the opposite, but in weird ways. It's kind of hard to describe in such a small thought. But... For the most part, I like that Falco's been sticking around with us. And I feel like Tildy's been doing a really good job of showing why he could stay confident with his Falco. Oh my goodness! Tildy! Tildy! Oh, oh, oh Tildy. <laughs> Bro, Sour Spot dare to extend edge guards is definitely like that good good that Falcos just aren't doing enough of yet. Yeah, and the thing is. Oh, ooh. He, uh, knew that, that he, was, he was gonna drop way too low, and he knew that. He was like, hold on, let me up here. But I mean, less in, in less than one minute, Tildy eliminated BB stock, right? So keep in mind, BB is still down here. Not for long. He actually just let oh it rip my. right in the back of Falco's head. Like, goddamn. Oh my. All it's right, all right. So he fires back. Smash. Running off and out smashing. You know, that's one of the best things. You can do. The best things you can do is just like you know get a free kill from the smash while you're still vulnerable from from spawning. <laughs> it's like ah, <laughs> you can't hurt me. So now once again, Vivi, this is this is it for him. on his last stock. But to be honest with you, this isn't the worst kind of a situation for Lucario. Like so long as he he gets rid of this second stock and mm -hmm. utilities quickly. This is a really good situation for him because any of the trades that he eats along the way for eliminating the second stock is just damage and aura he can make the most of coming into the final stock. And that was almost a devastating end for that bomb. Yeah, I was like, wait, 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 Vivi, be careful. Oh, I like the attempt. Unfortunately, not going to close it out just yet. Oh, this time oh. he even gets the read. He knows he's not able to end it out right there, but I like the jab. There you go. And now this is the situation Vivi wants to sit in. 92%. Mm -hmm. 
He knows he's going to be able to survive so long as he doesn't eat a smash attack. Yeah, or, or like, an up tilt to back here because that's, I don't I don't think that ever, that's how comboing a pretty high percent to be honest. And VB has to be careful of this, but he has all the aura in the world. And I do think that aura will, uh, aura sphere will actually just hit below ledge at this point. And that's one thing to note because Falco's recovery being super linear, it's super easy to die like that. Yeah, we've seen, uh, <laughs> God damn! <laughs> the pro! Why the up tilt the forward smash almost kill? Because Lucario, that's why. <laughs> this character actually is still like. It's, it's bonkers, man. It's bonkers. Oh! That like, thing no, is huge! Like, no disrespect to Vivi, but Lucario is still ignorant as all hell. <laughs> it takes a lot of work, and without a doubt, Vivi's had to put in the work to stay alive here. But man, if some of these hits don't look ignorant as hell. It's super scary. I like the air dodge to the stage, not giving Tildy the option to actually just drop down from that platform and dare. Tildy has to. This, this, this man literally just stared death in the face. I hope you realize. You know what we say to death? Not today, Satan! Ah, you got it. No, what? No! Got it. <laughs> I'll let you have that one. <laughs> Back 